slowing down traffic in solidarity with the Wet'suwet'en. Last weekend, Mi'kmaq grandmothers and their allies held a rally on Kansas Coastway to support ongoing blockades around the country. Protesters handed out flyers saying their goal was to inform the public. Starting off with a ceremony and moving on to drums and song, the two-hour protest had fewer than 100 people in attendance. Police presence never too far behind. All right. Thank I'm on you, your sir. side, buddy. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Most drivers rolled down their windows to receive the flyers, but not everyone was sympathetic with their cause. Mi'kmaq organizers say they have a duty to support their fellow First Nations conducting the blockades. If my relations in Ontario and, on, and in Quebec, the Mohawk, who we share wampum, we share treaty with, we have a duty to support them. And we have a duty to support our, our relations in BC. While critics worry about the impact of the blockades on the economy, protesters say they're speaking out against long-standing issues that affect many more people than critics realize. This is about Indigenous sovereignty, but what's bound up in it is also issues of environmental justice, you know, earth justice, climate justice. And so I think that all of that also comes into place when we think about the, the future and, and future generations and how people, um, how we need to live together peaceably and in harmony with the earth here in this land. So personally I feel like you know everyone should be um, trying to educate themselves more about these issues because I think that when we truly understand what the, what's at the heart of all of this then more people would probably be out here today. The rally wasn't only about what's going on in other parts of Canada. Protesters talked about issues facing indigenous communities right here in the region. How many centuries we've been here in decades in Sydney? How many native people are working in the city of Sydney? Three? Five? If that. However, member two is the third largest employer in the Kibbutz Regional Municipality. Over, I think half or over half of its workforce are, are non-First Nation. So when you talk about sharing, when you talk about our resources are your resources, you couldn't find a more better example, right, of giving, of sharing, to this day. But a Native person can't buy a job in Sydney. Motivations behind the nationwide protests seem to be multifaceted. They raise other questions besides the pipeline in BC. Indigenous communities are talking about their place in Canadian society. National train track blockades have been going on for 22 days now, interrupting the transportation of propane and other goods. Although that has caused problems for businesses in other parts of the country, we spoke with several businesses here in the Sherikam area, and all of them told us that they haven't been affected by the blockade so far. In Sherikam, for CHNE, this is Paula de Amperez.